can something this small jumpstart something like my truck? Unfortunately, we're going to find out. The poor truck ran into an issue this morning, and it required me to test out this new jump smart system a little bit sooner and a little bit more differently than I had originally planned to. So, it's getting a real world experience, and let me show you what's going on. My truck's got a dead battery this morning. I had somebody bring me a jumper. Luckily, I've got this jump smart system that I was given to by the jump smart people to test out. And I gotta say, first try has been a success. Now, let me show you what's going on. Right now, as you'll hear, I put the keys in. Dings, but battery is dead. Nothing. You know, it's amazing what battery technology has come from. You know, it used to be that you need something very large to start a vehicle, but we're getting to the point where something about this size, actually, <laughs> not this size, it's actually quite smaller. Yeah, I know, it looks like I'm holding a flashlight, but this is actually a jump starter. Yeah, something this small can jump start my truck, a 3.3 liter V6 in the Pathfinder. This is the Interjet Jump Start 001. This is capable of doing small engines up to 5 liter V8s. A 12 volt jump starter has a 200 amp starting rate, but it can do up to 400 amps at a peak. The Jump Smart doesn't work just as a jump starter, it's also a power bank. So if you need to, you can charge your phone if you're not using it as your jump starter. Jump Smart 001 has a capacity of 37,000 milliwatt hours. The USB is a 5 volt 2.4 amp output. The light is able to put out 8 watts at 1,250 lux, but as you can see, it is a very focused beam. It does have a bit of a wider bead pattern, but it is a very tight spot. And I think the reason comes down to is how the lens is built. Unfortunately, you can see the size of the cob here, and it's directly in the center. There's no other reflector around the cob itself. So it means the beam pattern is a little bit compromise more towards an absolute spot. It'd be much more handy if it had more of a flood type of beam. And that just comes down to the optics of the lens. While the light's nice and it's bright and it works, it's not the key draw of the Jump Smart. It is the fact that you can jump start your vehicle with something this big. Other than that, everything has worked perfectly well with this. Uh, it's a great power bank, definitely a great starter. I couldn't believe, again, I'm blown away with how well that actually worked. And that's really its main focus. Is, and again, it does that very well. So I have to say I'm rather impressed with this Jump Smart system. It's, it's a compact piece that you wouldn't think would actually work, but it has. It's enough to jumpstart this 3.3 liter without an issue. I was able to do it in multiple tries, as a matter of fact. You only can do like one or two starts with the system, but yeah, I got three. Mostly just so I could have different takes with the uh, camera I had on me at the time. But I have to be honest, I'm quite surprised at how well it worked. Again, if you have an opportunity to buy one of these, do it. It's a great thing to have in your car. If there's anything, you should always have some sort of way of jump-starting your vehicle. You never know. You can leave your lights on by accident. This could be a draw somewhere that drains the battery. But you should have some way of jump-starting it. Jumper cables, a jump smart, something. Because it really sucks when you're stranded. So that's it for the moment. And again, guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, that's, that's some of the best things you can do to help make this channel grow. And I look forward to seeing you guys again on the next one. Hopefully it won't be quite as disastrous. I'm glad to bring the system to you because it is something that actually works and I'm now a firm believer in.